I live here. Eighth Man DVD. Cartoon Classics. Saber-toothed tiger. Well, anyway, half a one. Well, this isn't getting me breakfast. Here, Fido. You're cranky before breakfast, too. Be quiet! Mm. Yum, yummy. My favorite vegetable, duck. swimming, but I never get to do anything. Well, what are you looking at? Don't just stand there. Do something. Now go get it. The big lummox. Well, now isn't that clever? The hunter's helper. 
Now, come on. Not bad for a guy that never took a lesson in his life. <laughs> wasn't such a hot idea after all. Good night, folks. you don't get one cent if you harm any animals, especially wabbits. You're free now with a wabbit. Go and womp and frolic in the forest. 
Oh, boy, I'm witch. Okay, fellas, break it up, break it up. Three million dollars. Mr. Wabbit, go on back to the forest where you belong. Be a nice with the wabbit. Ooh, ouch, ouch! Hey, what are you trying to do? Kill me? Are you fracture my skull? I'm gonna call her Louie. That's what I'm gonna do. Operator, operator! Hey, you got a nickel? Hello, operator, operator! Give me walnut tree, tree, tree. Oh, that you, mate? How's every little thing? Please, Mr. Wabbit, don't call Uncle Wooey. I won't hurt you again. I promise. Well, okay, but watch your step after this, fat boy. Hey, what do you got to eat around this joint? Eat? Eat? I'll fix this guy. Fate he'll twig me, huh? Step right this way. That'll fix him. <laughs> Why that dirty double crosser? Inheritance tax, two million defense tax, Jack County Veneer, which leaves you owing us one dollar and ninety-eight cents. Please, we mint. You don't get the dough, eh, Butterball? No, but I'm gonna get you. Yeah, <laughs>
used to bad wubbish. Easter greetings. child again, just for tonight. And between these covers, we find these immortal favorites. Sleeping Beauty. Remember the lovely princess who was bewitched into a deep slumber until her Prince Charming came to break the spell? his name because he was no bigger than a man's thumb. Let's pay this interesting family a visit. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Thumb. Where's little Tom? Are you Tom Thumb? Uh, 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 yeah, that's me. <laughs> Why, I thought you were no bigger than a man's thumb. How did you get so big? Uh, vitamin B1. <laughs> the Grasshopper and the Ant. The story of the industrious little ant and the lazy grasshopper. two-headed giant who forced Jack to run for his life. of his day. By means of a disguise, he preyed upon unsuspecting little sheep. Scram, bum. I'm waking this 
side of the pasture. The Arabian Nights gave us the story of Aladdin and his wonderful lamp. All Aladdin had to do was to rub the lamp and presto, the genie appeared. I dream of genie with light brown hair. kid again. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> hey, young fella. You're going to yell wolf once too often. Hey, go on, go on. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. Can a guy have a little fun? A session in the woodshed wouldn't do that boy any harm. And here's a bird you wouldn't mind having in your own home. A goose that lays golden eggs. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to lay golden eggs. Not anymore, brother. I'm doing my bit for national defense. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her poor dog a bone. This little nursery rhyme. This little piggy <laughs> went for to market. This little piggy has gone for to stay home. This little piggy has had rush beef and smash potatoes. And this poor little piggy, he don't have anything, all kinds of things to eat. And this little piggy has for to cry like anything. Wee, wee, wee. All the way. For crying out, pit sack, mother! Be careful! My corn! Cinderella and her glass slipper. The little girl Whoa! who... Whoa! Help! Help somebody! Help! Uh-uh. Oh. He's at it again. Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help the wolf! Was du da Ack-Ax-Op geschossen, no? Mach schnell, 
It's a the sign of the old world over. It's the poor what gets a the blame. While the rich has all the gravy. Now ain't that a blinking shame? Put out those lights! Schultz! <laughs> When you hear the turn, it will be exactly 6.45 and one quarter. Schultz? Six and one quarter. Mm. May I present you with this little token of our esteem? For me? Danke schön, danke schön. Oh, uh, just a little going away present. Well, see you around. Ah, now try and duck this one. 
Hilton, you duck. Hail Hitler! Watch 
the skyways or the land and the sea are ready to fly anywhere the duty calls ready to fight to be free you're just an angel in disguise who want to know from up above over hill and over dale we're always on the dusty trail hunting fox and hunting quail oh i am hunting full giddy up giddy up giddy up my horse and i are of the finest breed giddy up giddy up giddy up just like the wind i ride my forward speed sure a foot sure a vibe feeling onions makes me cry this makes no sense so do i so don't you go and beat me daddy to the nearest bar yeah into a finale, and what a finale! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! All right, let's see what the kid can do. Okay, Sleepy, do your stuff! <laughs> Springtime blossoms bloom again in the garden. Oh, <laughs> 
couldn't hit the broad side of a duck. Ah! They got me! Oh! 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 Yipe! Get him, Wowie Moore! We tweave him! We tweave him! Take it easy, Rover! That's no way to retrieve a duck! Look! <laughs> Like, see, Laramore? Hello. Sorry I had to plug you, Mr. Duck, but I'm a sportsman. A great, great sportsman. <laughs> a great sportsman, eh? <laughs> Listen, sport, you don't know the meaning of fair play. What chance has a poor, helpless, fluffy, little winged creature like me against you? You with your bullets and your shotgun and your knife and your dip call and your hunting coat and your hunting dog and all kind of stuff like that there. What protection have I got? A bulletproof vest, I suppose. <laughs> How does that get there? How'd you like to meet me in a fair fight, Mr. Sport? All things being equal, man to man, Marquise of Queensbury rules. Huh? Huh. That's different, eh? Yeah, that's something else again. Yeah, you don't like that, do you, sportsman? No. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like it. Huh? In that corner. <laughs> In that corner. <laughs> He's a dog. <laughs> oh, you can have him. <laughs> what a tramp. <laughs> Outstanding exponent of clean sportsmanship, the champion of champions, your friend and mine, our own, our beloved Daffy, good to his mother, Duck. <laughs> Something awfully screwy about this fight, or my name isn't Larimore, and it isn't. You got him, punchy champ. He's practically a dead duck already. Now get in there, fight. Go on in there, knock him out. Give it to him, champ. Let him have it, champ. Hmm, getting a little thin on top. How about a little something to stimulate the scalp? Now shake hands. Which hand do you take? Mm, uh... That one. Nope. Wrong. Guess again. All right, all right. 
I'll take that over there. <laughs> Ain't he a dope? You sure this is the one you want? <laughs> You're right! The right one? And here's round one coming up. One, three, nine, ten, you're out. The winner and new champion, Daffy Duck. I'm not the one to complain, Mr. Weffley, but I thought you said no woof stuff. None of this, or this, or this, or like so, or this, or this, or this. That's all, folks. What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. Look what I've got for you. <laughs> Later. Listen, you can have all the cheese you want if you cut this voice. <laughs> Oh, understand? Okay. There. And that's better. Now get going! Oh, that cat he done told me out there in the kitchen. That cat he done told you what? Oh, he's come here to save us, and not to enslave us. That cat's a rat just the same. Oh, no, kids. That the cat is a two-face, a treacherous thing who leave us to sing the blues in the night. Please take my advice and don't be naughty mice. Appease him, or, or he'll get offended. <laughs> wants to protect us from the ones who wrecked us. Please hear me. He wants to protect us. Oh, that's what I've been saying. Gee, that'd be fine. Now then hurry and sign a truce and go fight.
ever have a feeling that you uh, wanted something, uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Uh, I always get that feeling, too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. Yes, sir, one nice, fat, tender mouse. Mouse! <laughs> See? And remember, above all, to add an over Jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, Fanny, Schnipper, and L on a Philigadusha. You got that? Okay. of this, folks. It says here, a constant menace to pilots are the gremlins who wreck planes with their diabolical sabotage. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> oh, murder. <laughs> gremlins. <laughs> what a fairy tale. <laughs> Little man. Oh, brother. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, 
Watch all the hubbub. Bub. These blockbuster bombs don't go off unless you hit them just right. Yeah? Yeah. Where did he go, George? Which way did he go? Mm, that way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. Thanks a lot.
We ran out of gas. Yeah, you know how it is with these A-cards. Barnyard some years ago, a seemingly unimportant event occurred which was destined to vitally affect the future of that little world. Mr. and Mrs. Duck were expecting. <laughs> So time passed. Hey, bud, not so fast. Oh, all right. But time does fly, don't it, Johnny? <clears throat> time passed. The bad egg grew to, ma to duckhood and with artistic aspirations dreamed of brush and palette, but ended up with only the brush. They don't know art. His artistic efforts spurned, he soon turned to other endeavors. Und vergess nicht, you dopes! Ich bin der aufgeblosende Fresh in Deutschland! In alle Europa! Ja, in der ganzen Welt! My mama done told me. Say heil! And there were some gullible ones who listened. Especially one goose. More gullible than gooses. Goose, go, geese, mice, mice, go, geese usually go. That's all right. That's the old stuff, kiddo. He's a smart fellow with brains, huh? Like me. <laughs> South Germany. I'm a sick Heiler too. of peace from off this place. Have they forgot tis love that's right and not is gained by show of might? From out of the West came another partner to make a silly axis of himself. I, a Japanese, a sap, a man, sneaking on with a doo. 
I'm just a Japanese a sap man. I'm a little crazy too. Oh, to apologizing like a dickens. Oh, just a minute, Prisa. Oh, I am not a Japanese son of gun. Yeah, and I'm Mock Turtle Soup. With spreading clouds of war, once more the Axis march toward dreams of further conquest. One, two, button of my shoe. Three, four, shut on the door. Five, six, see him over the sticks. Seven, eight, red on the straight. Nine, ten. Begin again. Mercy me, regretful sight. Oh, branch of peace. Forestall this fight. Kind sirs, change your warlike. and say, there's three that didn't get away. Pimento University. Pimento U. Good old P.U. Pimento U, oh sweet P.U. Thy fragrant odor scents the air. A pox on Yale, poo poo Purdue. Pimento U, my college fair. Oh, Out and away, the most popular fellows at, uh... <clears throat> Out and away, the most popular fellows at old P.U. are the three Dover boys. Tom, the fun-loving member of the trio. Dick, a serious lad of 18 summers, plus a winter in Florida, as related in the Dover Boys in the Everglades, and uh, Larry, the youngest of the three jerks, uh, uh, brothers. A gay outing at the park has been planned by the merry trio, and they are off to fetch their fiancée, dainty Dora Standpipe, at Miss Cheddar's female academy close by. With their usual punctuality, the boys arrive at the pointed hour of three. Yoo-hoo! 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 And our 
soon on their rollicking way. Forced to pass a certain public house, a tavern of unsavory repute, our young friends meet the distressing situation with their usual uncompromising moral fortitude. Little do they know that even now, within this very tavern, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Roquefort Hall, coward, bully, cad, and thief, and arch enemy of the Dover Boys, squanders his misspent life. Hark! The Dover Boys. Drat them. Double drat them. They are escorting Dora Standpipe. Dear rich Dora Standpipe, how I love her! Father's money. Dover boys! Oh, how I hate them! I hate Tom! I hate Dick! And I hate Larry! They drive me to drink! Confound them. Con! Let us draw the curtain on this sordid scene and turn to more pleasant surroundings, where we find our young friends engaged in a spirited game of hide, go, and uh, seek. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. No, no! In here! No, up here, up here! No, no, over here, over here! Over here. In here. No, no, in here. No, in here. Over 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 here. A runabout. I'll steal it! No one will ever know! save her from this predicament? Will no one come to her assistance? But hold on. What's this? It looks like an alert young scout. And that's just what it is. He'll not fail her, I'll venture.
Telegram for the Dover boys. Mrs. Tom, Dick, and Larry care away with having upper bottleneck New York. Sirs, quote. Help! Unquote. Signed Dora. 35 cents collect. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Unhand her, Dan Backslide. Hey, we're getting in a rut. Stand up and fight, you coward, bully, cat, and thief. Oh, you haven't been thrashed enough yet, eh? Now it is time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pigs. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the Tree Little Pigs building their respective houses.
is the pride of the farm and the winner of many blue ribbons. He is trained to perform in every game. First, let's see you do a trot. Now the gallop. That's fine. Now do a canter. I'm happy about the whole thing. The way that you walk, the way that you talk. Hey, hey. That's enough of that. Here we find the farmer's faithful old watchdog. Though he is no longer very active, he still does a few little odd jobs around the house. One of his chores is to fetch the newspaper. Oh, there's the paper now. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what happened to Dick Tracy. Here is a group of cute little piggies playing in the mud. 
Well, what are they up to? They seem fascinated by that clock. Oh, well. Here's a proud mother hen, carefully watching over her eggs, anxiously awaiting the eventful day. What a happy little family this will be. What's this? A weasel, the ruthless thief of the barnyard, watching his chance to sneak in and steal those defenseless little eggs. He draws closer, and closer, and closer. trees, we find many species of bird life. The birds always... Oh, look up there. No, no, over to the left. See? A little owl nestling inside the tree trunk. an interesting sight. A young couple laboriously building their nest with a bit of string from here and a piece of straw from there. A little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, a bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, bit of string, piece of straw, a little twig, string, straw, string, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig, string, straw, twig. of the woods, field mice make their home. Here we see one of the most common types. Say, he seems to be a bit worried. Tell me, little fellow, what seems to be troubling you? I don't know, Doc. I... I just keep hearing things. Even the tiniest of insects, such as the ants, have a language all their own. Emerging from the opening comes a female of the species. If you listen very closely, you can hear her calling to her young. Modern farm is conducted on a business like, well, here are those little piggies again. Say, piggies, why don't you go off and play? <coughs> oh, well, suit yourself. Here is one of the strangest friendships that has ever been known. Natural enemies, yet living together as friends. A cat and a mouse. Tell me, is it true that the cat takes good care of you? And keeps you nice and warm? Well, that's truly a friendship. Now, before we leave you, is there anything that you would like to say to your friends in the audience? So, as the day draws to a close and the sun sinks slowly in the west, we reluctantly take our leave of the farm. Well, the piggies again. Are they going to stay there all night? What in the world can the attraction be?
it's the same thing. Good morning. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. Have you had your tasty toasties this morning? Good for you. And now from... Uh, 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 don't touch that dial. And now for our morning exercises. Open those windows. Take a deep breath.
your clock. <laughs> War savings time. <laughs> Kabloom! Hey, you. Just leave this. I stick him up. I bet you're that old this, 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 this. Well, I'm not so sure that you're Porky Pig, either. There's your license. Can't you see the, the white line? There's the fire. Move along, or I'll run you in, Bob. You know, I'm uh, re uh, really getting suspicious of, of, of that guy. Here, pig, it is one minute to three. Do you see that little bag? Uh, you mean uh, the, uh, that one? Yeah, at exactly three o'clock, that little... Yip! <laughs> 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 Let's join the Army for a day and get a glimpse of military life. Here we are at Fort Nix, typical of the many training camps throughout the country. Coaching, please. Uh, now, no, don't tell me. Uh, uh, four, yeah, yeah, four. 
That's right. Now, do you want to try for the $32 question? Well, uh, I don't know. I, uh... You'll be sorry! Uh, no, no, no uh, I better take the $16, I better. Sweet music to the ears of all soldiers is the mess call, or come and get it. And so their appetites appease, the army is ready to carry out the orders of the day. One of the most colorful sights is the well-trained cavalry as it goes through its daily drills. Company, tail, shut! Mark, tight! Right, face! Infantry is the backbone of the army. Marching mile after mile is a matter of routine for these hardy foot soldiers. Following close behind, the camouflage troops. The artillery tries out one of its new guns. In contrast to the mechanized equipment used by the soldiers of today, early conscriptees were trained with makeshift substitutes. Here are a few examples. The machine gun unit. Bang! 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 The tank corps. The parachute troops. The Army Air Corps has proven a vital link in our military chain. During maneuvers, Pursuit planes engage each other in aerial games. Here is the anti-aircraft division in the midst of its daily target practice. The largest guns of the Army are those of the Coast Defense. Directions for firing these huge monsters originate at Army headquarters, many miles behind the lines. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Elevation, 45 degrees. Direction, 30 degrees north by east. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Longitude, 36 degrees. Latitude, 58. Ready. 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 Fire. 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 I'm a bad 
General.
funny, would ya? Why, you... One false move out of you and I'll... Freddy Cat, this is only a tiny little bird. You mean a poor little dinsy wincy itsy bitsy defenseless boy? Yes. Let me at him! Let me at him! I'll get him, baby! Gang way out! Moin lies him! Let me at him! Take it easy! Take I'll it easy! I'll show him! Why does he get that stuff? Don't hold me back! I'll get him! I'll show him! Come on, quit your fooling. Don't get up that ladder. Push me, Abbott! Don't come push on, me! Come on. I'm scared to go up high. I get hydrophobia. No, oh, I don't want to come on. Go. Oh, don't push me. Oh, come on. Don't. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. <laughs> he do it. Come on, stupid. Get the bird. Oh. Give me the bird. Give me the bird. If the haze office would only let me, I'd give him the point, all right. Under control. Don't push me down in a box, Babbitt. Please don't do it. Don't do it. Hey, Babbitt! Oh, Babbitt! Babbitt! What's the matter now? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, I'll let you out then. I thought I tore a putty tap. I did. I tore a putty tap. Cheap. 
Baba, I'm just no good. Oh, the brakes were against you. I'm a flopperoo. I can't even get the boy. Don't worry, you'll get it all right. You mean I'll get it in the end? Yeah, and you'll get a big bang out of it, too. Well, that sure takes a load off of my mind. You're clowning. What's the matter with you? Aren't you ashamed? I don't know. Why do you do these things? I'm a bad pussycat. Oh, I just can't seem to get the boy. Keep no use. Don't worry. I can't do it. This'll get you up there. Contact. 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 Contact.
boom, 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 boom. If your rhythm's been too dreamy, if your rhythm's been too dreamy, and you like your trumpet screaming, and you like your trumpet screaming, that's when you should call to see me, because I've got swing for sale. If you think a waltz is horrid, and you like your rhythm torrid, Till it makes you mop your forehead, I've got swing for sale. Rhythm's what this country needs, for years and years I've said it. If you buy it from me, it's COD. I sell swing, but not for credit. Boom, 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 boom. celebrants bid us adieu happy with the memories of the bookland frolic all is well all is well
is reaching out and closing in on you, you screwy wabbit. <laughs> an officer, assault and battery, trespassing, disturbing the peace, miscellaneous misdemeanors, public nuisance, traffic violations, going through a boulevard stop, jaywalking, triple parking, conduct unbecoming to a wabbit, nice looking chap, oh. violating traffic regulations. Tension! Why, look at you. You call yourself a Maori. You're a disgrace to the regiment. I'm gonna drum you out of the service. <laughs> for a wet. Bang! 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 Click, 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 click. 
No more bullets. <laughs> Come on, buck up. Don't cry. I'll give myself up. Here, take me in. You will really mean it? It's not another twig. No! Go ahead, snap him on. Okay, Doc. Let's go. Ready, Mr. Wabbit? Yeah, go ahead, Doc. I'm ready. Before you die, you can make one last wish. Yeah? Well, uh, let's see now. Um, I wish, um, I wish, um, I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, can't tell me he sings this song. Do that, do that. Can't tell me he's back by my long. Fantastic, isn't it? Wind the run all night. Wind the run all day. I'll bet my money on a pop tonight. Somebody there on the
Jabzar. A rabbit. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Poison kid. Uh, uh. What would you like to have to eat? Some soup or consomme. Our chowder's good today. A T-bone border lay. What is your order? You love our new green. 
green peas, or shrimp and cheddar cheese, and cherry if you please. A dear order to try out the loney, a slice of salami, some vitamins A, B. Just place your order. We have a candy yam, a moving picture ham, our short ribs of spring lamb, our shorter of buttered buns we boast to try our free French toast and orange sherbet roast. Give us your order, and with that tucked away, you'll know that that ain't hay. That ain't hay, brother. The bags all ooh la la la, ooh la la la, ooh la la la, ooh la la la. And now for our dessert. Uh -oh. Now, fellas, wait a minute. Not that. You don't want to eat me. I I'm not a duck anyway. I'm a pigeon. I'm a hummingbird. Listen. <laughs> Shining bright down in Rio de Janeiro. Boom, ti boom, boom, ti boom, ah, ti boom, boom, ti boom, 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 boom. See, I like the South American way, and I do mean South. one of the country's most interesting zoos. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American greyhound. Here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cave. <laughs> nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shadow. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, sir. hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. 
Shame, shame, you're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. Listen now, fella. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I was framed, see? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. They can't do this to me, see? They can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. have something to crow about. Oh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. <laughs> for the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a bad boy. New to the zoo is an elephant, just in from Africa. Hello, Express Company. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. You know, those guys have had my twunk for a week. And here we have, uh, well, <laughs> these are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. Bread and butter, bread and butter. Well, here we have Jay Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me, just what made you wild? What made me wild? What made me wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fellow finally took my advice and went home.
Tonight is amateur night. Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes to Lardy. Ah, oh, she'll be coming round the mountain when she... <laughs> Next we have... Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes <laughs> Next we have a talented artist, Maestro Padawiski.
Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Rarely it is. <laughs> Oh, my darling, my only one. I love you more than anything. <laughs> 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 Oh, Juliet, my love, let me thrill again to the soft, sweet tones of your voice. <laughs> Precious little honey lambs. Willie, you all hand over that book. Ah, Claire to goodness. You is too young to be reading that trash. And besides, if you all try to catch that worm, the old fox will catch you. The fox? What's that, Mammy? Oh, he's this tall. Brown green eyes and a long pointed nose and long sharp teeth and he just loves to eat little birds just like you. Now you all shut them big brown eyes and get to sleep.
want for breakfast.
your tin and listen to it punch. To our nation's call, every rubber ball goes to conquer freedom's fall. Freedom's fall. Freedom's a fall. Oh, freedom's fall. We're in to win. Our staff is in. So to victory, let's go. And do the job with junk. Puss, pants, bull tin cans, pails, nails, empty gales, fats, hats, rubber mats, missing legs, kitchen sinks, garbage cans, electric fans, rubber boots, bathing suits, reels, wheels, run down heels, beds, springs, pitch and rings, metal shears, old tin ears. <whistles> Tires, chains, water mains, skates, plates, furnace rakes, pitching forks, rubber cords, sacks, racks, railroad tracks, clothes, holes, fiddle bowls, plugs, lugs, bathroom rugs, collar keys, housemate knees, rubber bands, birdcage stands, metal snips, pillow slips, lock slots, grandpa clock. And that's why we're in. So we How do you like that, sickle groover? Ten 
of spinach now. Same, Daffy. Same. Creak, 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 Uncle Dillingham duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their limp fortune hog? Did Daniel Boone and me quack quits when Injun saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy, Americans don't give up. No, Daffy, Americans don't give up. That's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super American. Thank you.